Yeah. Hi, students. I am Dr. Badrinath. Uh, biopharmaceutics, all basics, only basics we will see. Introduction and basics of three. Biopharmaceutics, BP, Pharmacokinetics, PK, Clinical Pharmacokinetics, CPK. Okay. Biopharmaceutics is easy. Pharmacokinetics is dead easy. Clinical pharmacokinetics is very, 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 very easy. Okay. No need to be worried about the concepts. Okay. This concept is very important for all pharma students or pharmacy students, total pharmacy, even for MBBS students also, this is very, very important. We know very well about the pharmaceutics. Pharmaceutics is nothing but a development of a formulation, a dosage form, either a capsule or a tablet, whatever it may be. Up to that, there will be, sutics will be there. When you are taking, see here, capsule. When she is taking the capsule, she is swallowing the capsule, then biopharmaceutics starts. Bio means a life. Pharmaceutics means which is already you have prepared the formulation by using the principles, like a very good, excellent injection you have prepared, excellent tablet you have prepared, excellent transdermal patch you have already prepared. From that, sutix is over. Now, when you are taking it into the body, when you are giving to the patient, then biopharmaceutics will stop. That is an important point, what you have to keep in your mind. See how she is taking a capsule here. There is a glass of water inside orally. This is a glass of water, blue color, and this is a capsule. And she is taking inside and it is a, so that biopharmaceutics starts here. Here, here, right? See, when you are taking a formulation, medicine or drug, whatever it may be, dosage form, there is a two things are there. One is the medicine and another one is the body, okay? So what happened? See the arrow mark. This drug it causes something to the body. It it will not be simply retained in the body. You know, it will do something. Definitely, either it is a fighting or supporting, whatever it may be. Some interaction will be there. It do something to the body. Okay. What drug? This drug. What drug causes to the body? And here. In the same passion, what body causes to the drug? Body also will do something to the drug. Right? You got my point. Yeah, it is also not simply sitting and this is also not simply sitting. Because when you are taking, this shows the action on that. That is also shows the action on this. Then now you come to the things. What drug causes to the body? It shows me this is called as a pharmacodynamics. Dynamics. Dynamic. Dynamics. Whereas here, what body causes to the drug is called as a kinetics. Pharmacokinetics. First, we will see what pharmacodynamics. What generally drug does to the body? It shows pharmacological action. It shows therapeutic action. It also shows side effects also. So that's why side effects also comes under the pharmacodynamics. Adverse effects. Allergic reactions, whatever done by the drug to the body comes under pharmacodynamics. You have to study it under the pharmacodynamics heading only. Whereas a, what body causes to the drug, it absorbs the medication. It distributes throughout the body. It metabolizes the body and finally it excretes into the body. Like the four steps are there. A, D, M, E. Absorption distribution, metabolism, and excretion. All these four items comes in the pharmacokinetics. Yeah, here you can see. Here. This is a capsule. Drug will be absorbed into the body. From first, initially, the drug is outside the body. See here, outside the body. Now it is absorbed. A stands for absorption. See, that en entered into the body. See here, entered into the body. Okay, first step is over. Second step is the D, distribution. This drug, what is entered here into the body, it will be distributed. See, distributed to the head, distributed to the hand, distributed to the leg. It is distributed throughout the body. Then you can say it is a D. D stands for distribution. Okay. Within the body only, not outside. Next, metabolism. 
your active drug will be metabolized into inactive form it will be transformed see, that's why i changed the color here see that i changed the color you observe the color this is called a metabolism from the metabolism finally it excretes exit into the body is called as a excretion see here it came outside the body excreted through the urine are excreted through the sweat are excreted through the fecal matter whatever it may be it is finally it is exit from the body exit from this room in the same fashion exit from the body is called as a excretion metabolism means active drug convert into inactive drug is called as a metabolism change color is changed here distribution throughout the body the drug will be absorption entry of the drug into the body that is called absorption now you can see the definitions absorption process it is a process of the movement of a drug from its site of absorption to the systemic circulation not to the to the body systemic it is nothing but a blood distribution process of movement of a drug between the one compartment to another compartment metabolism process of conversion from one chemical form to of drug to the another chemical form it is called as a metabolism it is also called as a bio transformation very 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 important next is excretion the process whereby the drug under their metabolites irreversibly exit from the body irreversibly transferred from internal to the external environment is called as a excretion elimination this is one of the new term elimination is nothing but either metabolism or excretion either this process or this process Elim that is called a elimination elimination is nothing but either inactivation of a drug or drug exit from the body that is also called as a elimination okay in the various source and all we are using no El you are eliminated 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 means they can uh, the participant who is uh, participated he once he eliminated he can simply sitting in that only or he can go outside the studio like that next drug disposition this is also new term this is a disposition is nothing but position is changing is called as a distribution okay here you can see drug is distributed drug is eliminated movement is there position is changed that's why it's called a disposition that's why both are called as a disposition distribution as well as elimination very important for competitive examination okay yeah now these are, you can see all these are the dosage forms either the ointment or injection eye drops see here tablets are there patches are there everything see iv fluids are there ample is there uh, ample vial is there okay see now this is a systemic circulation see only i highlighted the uh, blood vessels see red color and blue color blood vessels are here are you observed that so drug is entered into the systemic circulation only if the drug is there in the muscle or in some other area no we are not considering how much drug is entered into the blood systemic circulation only so what happened here drug is entered into the systemic circulation from the dosage form into the systemic circulation now there is a two questions two questions are very 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 important what is the first question now see dose from dosage form drug is entered into the systemic circulation how much drug entered first question how much drug entered see drug present in the capsule is 500 mg of paracetamol it is present in the capsule but drug which is entered into the systemic circulation into the blood is definitely less than the 500 mg not the 100% you keep in your mind less than not 500 mg definitely less than the 500 mg here example 450 mg suppose say, or 200 mg 250 mg 300 it is always less than the what you see what you have taken drug will not reach to the systemic circulation as it is definitely there will be some wastage will be there except iv route iv route intravenous route directly you are giving into the injection into the vein except that even other injections also are having a wastage like i am intramuscular injection intramuscular injection subcutaneous injection that is also having a wastage 
only one is thing is iv intra venous there only because we are giving directly into the venous so drug is directly entered 100% uh, bioavailability 100% entry will be there that point you have to be keep in your mind how much drug is entered this is also called as a extent of drug absorption don't get confusion this point is very very important how much drug entered extent of drug absorbed is also called as amount of drug absorbed it is always measured in the milligrams and grams okay next second question at what speed drug entered second question speed is important see the drug is moving like this drug is moving in this at what speed speed generally we are calculating when you are going to an a vehicle and all like a 20 km per hour 30 km per hour 60 km per hour always time you are mentioning because speed always related to the time that point you have to keep in mind at what speed the drug is entered into the systemic circulation that is also see rate of drug this is called as a rate of drug absorption speed of drug absorption so two points are important what is the first one extent of drug absorption is nothing but amount second one rate is nothing but a speed extent rate that points you have to keep in your mind this is very 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 important now we can see what is a biopharmaceutics definition factors influencing the rate and extent of drug absorption is called as a biopharmaceutics both some factors will be there pharmaceutical factors that influences the rate and as well as the extent of the drug absorption i shown what is the difference between rate and extent bioavailability how much rate and extent of the drug absorbed into systemic circulation here factors not with how much drug at what speed it is entered is called as a bioavailability this is from your textbook so that's why here highlighted extent and rate these two points very 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 important so biopharmaceutics is defined as the study of the factors the same definition i given here here also from brahmanker same definition i gave here bioavailability now you compare the biopharmaceutics with pharmacokinetics okay so biopharmaceutics is nothing but same what i have shown in the last slide factors influencing the rate and extent here study of the time course of the ADME is called as a very very important time course in kinetics kinetics means movement we know very well kinetics is nothing but a speed kinetics is nothing but a velocity at what speed a drug is administered at what speed drug is distributed at what speed speed always speed comparing with the time drug is metabolized at what speed drug is excreted you are always comparing with the time here yeah here you can see the differences between biopharmaceutics and pharmacokinetics here you will get more theory part because only factors influencing we are going to be study here less theory part more here more equation here less equation less calculation part because less equations are there but here more equations more calculation part you will get yeah very very important organs in the absorption distribution metabolism and excretion very important absorption always be takes place orally when you are taking orally main important part is the intestine from intestine there will be absorption not from stomach from stomach also there will be some little drug will be absorbed intestine is a major part for the absorption heart is main part it is the one and only the pump available in the body one and only the pump so when it distributes the blood in the blood the drug will be distributed metabolic so distribution if heart is not proper distribution will be blocked interfere when uh, intestine will not be proper then absorption will not be takes place properly metabolism always takes place in the liver all the drugs takes place in the liver only when the liver is failure drug will not be metabolized in the body so whatever you have taken it will be like that only it will not be metabolized it is always in the active form so it it, show, it is a dangerous very dangerous that's why metabolism means liver excretion means kidney mainly all the drugs excreted through the kidney only through the urine that point you have to keep in your mind so these are the four important par, uh, organs for the four important ADME okay now clinical pharmacokinetics we came to the last part of the thing see pharmacokinetics we know what is a clinical pharmacokinetics means see in some patients the liver failure is there see here liver is a good liver change it to medium liver and here liver is failed and some patients kidney is failed see here 
see how the kidneys progress in the failure kidney is failuring here so finally it leads to kidney failure so once there was a failure in the liver automatically drug will not be metabolized at which stage it is that that is very important either it is in the 20% liver failure 30% liver failure 50% liver failure 60% liver failure and kidney also so once the kidney is failure drug will not be exit from the body drug will be there in the body only once the liver is failure drug will be always in the active form in the body only right okay now what you have to do as a pharmacist you have to adjust the dose depending upon the failure of the either liver or failure of either kidney don't give same dose as that of the other uh, uh, patients other patients is different here the patients with liver failure patients with kidney failure you, you must adjust the dose normal excel size double xl triple xl will not be sufficient for them you have to measure you have to become like a tailor at what percentage liver is failure at what percentage kidney is failure how much dose here i have to reduce you have to calculate just like a tailor so you will become a tailor pharmacist is nothing but a tailor tailor how stitches the classes as per the body measurement pharmacist calculate the dosage regimen as per the kidney function as per the liver function if both are good leave it this is called as a clinical pharmacokinetics is nothing but dosage calculation dosage adjustment as per the liver and kidney function yeah here you can see what is a drug this is the paracetamol powder a chemical substance used in the treatment cure prevention drug you cannot eat as such like a horlicks powder you cannot take it as a, a maltova as a horlicks you cannot take it directly because drug is powder you cannot take it you have to convert into suitable dosage form either a tablet capsule here tablet is there capsule is there uh, ampoule is there like that this is called a dosage form and dose dose is nothing but a, so dosage form is nothing but a means it is a means it is a one of the means by which the drug molecules are uh, delivered to the site of action within the body this is called a dosage form so drug you have to convert into suitable dosage form then only the patient is able to take the dose see here dose a dose is the quantity of drug taken or given see 25 mg 5 ml 250 mg per ml like that this is called a dose dose is regimen this is a dosage regimen dose is different dosage regimen is different dose along with the timings number of days how many mornings how many nights you are taking at what time you are taking how much dose you are taking these three are collectively called as a dosage regimen for example say dizepam 6 mg per day in three divided dose this entire term is called as a dosage regimen whereas this is called a dose 25 mg 5 mg 500 mg 250 mg like that okay yeah here you can see what is a drug name this is name of the drug this is called a brand name or this is also called as a trade name for example say paracetamol is a drug name this is a brand name company is a micro labs here see this is a micro labs so don't get confusion here and this is the differences between the branded drug and generic drug active ingredient no difference active ingredient same active ingredient both and recommend higher in cost this is a lower in cost this is a branded see how branded like cap and ice some extra will be there this is a cover uh, if no generic like that this uh, very simple terms i have given uh, appearance look strength and dose uh, inactive ingredients okay like that almost there is no differences and cheaper generic are cheaper like this ordinary persons okay yeah i will end my session here okay keep watching all my videos it is dedicatedly for uh, students only for all pharmacy students only